Hey guys, Alex here from HowToPunchHarder.com, Power Punching Blueprint. Today I want to talk about the third installment of rotator cuff or shoulder stability exercises. So today we're going to be doing two exercises that were actually found in a study to be the most effective at strengthening the rotator cuff. You may have seen these exercises before, uh, however you're probably not doing them on a regular basis. Now the best time to do these are completely separate from your workout because we're going to be strengthening, you don't want to necessarily strengthen your rotator cuff while, you know, before or after you're going to do a, a, a vigorous workout. So the best time to do this is sometime like on a Sunday or someday that's an off day. Now there's two exercises we're going to be doing here. Uh, external rotation for these uh, posterior external rotators, including the infraspinatus and teres minor. And then we're going to be doing a couple exercises for the supraspinatus. Now I'll put the links to the study in the, in the description. Uh, but the first exercise for the external rotators, you want to get on a bench. I'm going to use a five pound plate right here. You can use a dumbbell alternatively. Uh, start low, start slow. And you want to keep your elbow pinned to your side, all right? No lifting it off. And simply, you got an elbow 90 degrees and then the shoulder, right, uh, parallel with your body. Just external rotations. 10 times, 15 times is enough. And then don't forget to do both sides. Now, if you do you can do two sets and in between them, if you really want to supercharge this exercise, when you're uh, working these external rotators, naturally your internal rotators are going to be inhibited. So you can take this as an opportunity to stretch the internal rotators. And it's a subscapular. Just put it up here in between sets. You can stretch it for about 45 seconds to a minute. Get a good stretch in there. Do the other side. Of course, you don't want to hold it for longer, it's just not long. And then go back and do it again. So that's the external rotator exercise. Now we're going to focus on the supraspinatus. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put our arm uh, in 100 degrees of abduction. So it's not exactly perpendicular. It's a little bit higher than that. And we're going to be uh, moving it, moving it backwards, front to back. Now you can use the same thing. And also you can turn the hand over. So you're lifting it just straight back like that. Just on the bench. Bring your arm up. Now you probably want to do both at the same time so you have a counterbalance, you know. And do that one, just one set of 10 should be fine. Start with a light weight and then go from there. Uh, now again, strengthening your rotator cuff is important because there's a lot of movement. The, the shoulder joint is a loose joint. There's a lot of movement in there. And when you go to punch, you want all of that energy transferred into your opponent rather than absorbed by this moving joint. So when you make impact, you want all that, all that energy to go forward rather than, you know, when you hit, that energy could be lost in your shoulder. So that's the reason that we're going to strengthen the rotator cuff a little bit. Again, don't do this on days that you're working out with a vigorous workout. Uh, do it on off days. And you don't really want to work to the point of soreness. Just 10 reps, maybe two sets uh, is plenty. So that's it for now. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get more good stability exercises. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.